Ever wanted to know how it feels like to fly in Halo? Well, the Acrophobia Skull does just that. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our gameplay commentary video today. We're doing a showcase of the Acrophobia Skull that's coming with the July 14 release of Halo 3 on PC and the July 14 update coming to the Xbox version of the game as well. So interesting history behind this ability. So apparently this jetpack Acrophobia Skull was originally kind of the idea for boarding action in Halo Combat Evolved. Eventually, they had to cut the content as they couldn't figure out a way to properly balance it and fit it into the game in a narrative way. And so then it kind of just got left on the cutting room floor. 343 saw this code, they decided to add it into the Halo 3 campaign because it's a lot of fun. So if you're wondering why boarding action in Combat Evolved plays so oddly, it has all these teleporters, why is there a big gap in the middle? Because initially, there was supposed to be a jetpack for every player to be able to move throughout the map however they please. And as we know now, you have teleporters. Even the, one of the developers who brought up this uh, jetpack ability and this map agrees that the way the map kind of ended out, not as ideal, but uh, it functions okay, I guess. But now we have that ability in Halo 3. If you like these gameplay commentary videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. And let's get right into the video here. Okay, guys, so here we are in Halo 3's campaign. We're going to be jumping on the mission Floodgate, as I've seen this one worked out pretty well. Minplus did like a 59 second speed run on this mission so i thought it'd be kind of a good one to showcase you can just run through the entire thing pretty dang quickly which i think is pretty awesome but we're gonna be showcasing you know what the skull can do how to play around with it and what you can pull off with it as well but obviously we're gonna be selecting floodgate options whatever i'm gonna put it on easy just for now so you can kind of get a chance to see what the skull is like so i don't have to try so hard to do well and here's the skull over here the acrophobia skull basically what the skull does it gives you an unlimited jetpack and it's pretty freaking awesome. It's it's completely breaks the game, but like in the best way possible. It's uh, way more functional than Reach's jetpack, so we get a chance to show you guys right here. Okay, guys, so here we are on the mission Floodgate. The flood have just landed into boy about to destroy this planet up. And so let's uh showcase what you can do here. So first of all, you gotta jump, then you jump again, and it activates the jetpack, so you can kind of just zoom around. However you feel, which is just like so ridiculous to have this happen. Now, you can also hover in midair with the skull on top of that. You just kind of stop, hit hold down crouch while you're in the air. It keeps you in place. And look at this skybox. It just looks amazing. It's uh, not very often you get such a beautiful view of the skybox. It'll actually probably help me get some really awesome thumbnails with the skull and blind skull on or something like that. Just saying, I might have to come back in later. Just saying. <laughs> uh, but essentially, what I can do is hold down crouch and hit down forward, and then use a space bar to push myself forward, and I'll just be floating in the air continuously. And as soon as I let go of the jump button, stay up in place. Holy finds. Down, you can reload, you can switch your weapons. You can do whatever you want up here in the air, just fine. So let's get let's get to zoom in here. Get a chance to like see some cool visuals of what like the uh, you know, skybox looks like in some of the areas maybe you're not supposed to exactly get into in Halo 3. Now I also keep in mind that, that the uh, physics of running into a wall at a high speed certainly do affect you. So I gotta be rather careful with my navigation. Right, as you can totally tell right there. And as you can tell, essentially this uh, skull does pretty much break the game. And so then I uh, pretty much spawn right back at the beginning because I don't hit the proper checkpoints. So the interesting thing about the skull as well, it doesn't exactly work like the Reach jetpack that you're probably familiar with. As you you know, you probably just we just hit jump, jump again, and then you go straight up. Well, you have to actually be looking at the direction that you want to go. That's just, so if I wanted to go straight up, I have to go jump and look straight up, and then I actually go straight up. But there is there, you do run into like invisible walls and kill barriers and stuff like that. I see how far we can actually go out here. It's like you can't even go that far out with this skull on this map. Some maps you have a little bit more leeway, some maps you don't. It all kind of depends. And oh god, we're about to die. Okay, there we go. Let's get our zoom on and run through the mission floodgate and see uh, how fast we get, how properly we can get through this entire mission. And as we can zoom right past all this, oh, don't mind me. Kind of uh, being a zoomer over here 
Insert guy go fast Sonic music. Oh my god, I almost died right there. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah, see like the full damage of you know hitting a wall at the speeds that you're moving certainly do take an effect, so the physics do matter still on top of that. But uh, as you can see, and just zoom your way to glory. Like right here. You can just skip this entire section. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. I thought it was about to fall off the map. But now we're good. We just can't keep zooming on through all this. Zoom through this. No problem to me. See you guys later. I just killed myself. Checkpoints are not as consistent as uh, you would expect. Because apparently like these checkpoints that you come across in Halo 3 are not exactly tied to uh, locations on the map. But more I guess like situations or... Uh, scripted instances, I guess, would be where the accurate way to go about this. Oh god, let's try to navigate through this. Oh, I hit the freaking grave. My, I get it. You need to slow me down. But I need to zoom. Zoom all the way through here, through that, up here. There's Cortana, right? Oh no, we gotta do this whole thing again. Maybe if I held down E. I just assume so. I zoom too quick. Okay, here we go. Now we gotta just activate the Cortana. Sequence right here. I absolutely love this cutscene though. Almost any cutscene in Hill 3 I absolutely love, but we'll skip it for now. And there you go. That's the end of the mission. Like, we did it pretty dang quick. The next mission is the Ark. We'll see how the Acrophobia School works on the Ark. Uh, it's kind of inconsistent exactly how the different barriers work on the, on the game. If there's like, kind of invisible barriers, some uh, geometry that might kind of hold you back or some checkpoints or irreversible checkpoints you can't go back and stuff like that but uh we'll try around play around with this a little bit as well as the skybox for this map is absolutely amazing i mean hell they, they even indicate you to look at the skybox at the beginning of the round because like look at that how is that not an absolutely beautiful skybox like look at this my god bungie Really knows how to make an amazing skybox. They really do. You know, they carry that over in the Reach. They brought in the they brought in the Destiny as well. And just the skyboxes this game offers are just absolutely incredible. Look at this. You can just don't mind me, guys. Just gonna go through here. Mind me. The uh, you know gonna go through this door. I keep on going this. I hit a branch apparently. Okay, good. At least we didn't get a terrible checkpoints. There goes that longsword. Can we see, can keep up with it? Where does it go? It just disappeared. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to see that right now. <laughs> you know. Like I said, that's what the Zacrophobia School does. It pretty much just breaks the game, which is just really funny. But that's the kind of the fun things about the schools in Halo, just in general, is that the kind of what they do is they essentially break the game in just really fun ways that you would normally never expect to play. Halo in that kind of style. Now it feels like walking is like incredibly slow. I'm trying to jump on the edge of this thing. Anti-air raid. Oh, get off! Get off! Okay. Take out this bad boy over here. If this activates the uh, ship to fly in. Oh, we'll just do this. We'll kind of zoom out here. Yeah, dead. Yeah, dead. This just seems so unfair to just like covenant. Like who looks like the chief by himself? Is overpowered, but then you add him. Yeah, flying on top of that. You gotta make me a flying chief on top of that, guys. This thing is just so much fun in just like the most wacky way possible. And you can like zoom in, you can shoot and kill stuff while you're flying as well. Just you can do just, just absolutely wacky stuff. Yeah, hover over here, snipe out some of uh, these brutes. All right, cool. We activated the sequence to bring in the ship. We'll see if the ship actually pushes us back while we're flying. That would be funny if it actually does. Well, let's see. Here it comes. Do we stay in the air? Yeah, we're now affected by uh, by the dog coming in. Look at that. Pretty dang awesome. Are we, is, are we affected by the geometry of it at all? Uh, yes, the geometry you do have to you have to respect. Have to respect the oh no, we can go in. Look at this. We're inside the ship. Oh, I mean, obviously, uh, it doesn't exactly anything to hoot and holler about, but uh, it's pretty cool that we're in here. I'm hitting like a invisible ceiling right now. Okay, so now this portion you're like, okay, tank beats everything. We all know about that. But does acrophobia beat everything? 
I would have to guess yes. As we can just kind of go, okay, well, we'll just go right over here. Don't mind me. We're just going to skip all this, skip all that. Oh, they dropped a wraith on me. Okay, well, let me drop a chief on you then. Punch it up a bit. There we go. Go. Yeah. <laughs> it is so overpowered for this game. It completely breaks the game, but just like in the best way possible. Oh god, I just killed myself. <laughs> so yeah, that about does it. You can kind of see what the Acrophobia Skull does. It's kind of wacky. It breaks the game. It's a lot of fun. And it's coming on July 14th with the Halo 3 release on PC and the update as well coming for Xbox, coming for you guys on the platform. So if you guys enjoyed these kind of videos, want to see some more videos like that, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts on the Acrophobia Skull. Are you going to be playing around with it? I'm sure you will because it's it's a lot of fun. And if you guys are new to the channel or miss any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos. If you've been in the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.